There's no question about it. Jeff Okowiak knows how to bowl. But Monday night during his league game, he even impressed himself. In practice, I kind of knew that I was at least going to bowl pretty good. I mean, I just had a good feel of the ball in my hand. Pretty good doesn't even begin to describe it. Okowiak scored a perfect 300 on his first game, 12 straight strikes. Then he missed just one pin in the second game and came back strong in the third with another perfect score of 300. At the middle of the second game, people started coming over and watching and cheering and very hectic. I just tried to stay calm and try and let that let part not bother me and it, it worked out so. I don't expect people to bowl that phenomenally get 35 out of 36 strikes. It's just a shock to me that it would happen at our bowling center. The only pin he left standing the entire night was number four. <laughs> Yes, it was. How much do you hate that number four pin? <laughs> it would have been a really amazing accomplishment if I could have carried that one. So. As it turns out, a little sibling rivalry may have fueled his near-perfect streak. Last year, about this time, my brother had back-to-back -back 300s, and he had an 832 series. So after the uh, second game, he was kind of joking with me, saying, you know, you still got to beat 832. He set the bar pretty high. Yeah, I set the bar, he beat it, now I got to come back and... He said it pretty high now. High enough to maybe even earn a spot in Rochester's history book. From what I understand, the 879 is now the, the highest series in Rochester. I'm not sure if that is or not, but if it is, then <laughs> excellent.